Lad McConkey, one of the most underrated players in the entire country, in my opinion, Chargers second round draft pick. We appreciate you being here, man. Sir. First question is, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm What's feeling, it like being here, man? I mean, I'm you got to be excited. Feeling good, you know. Can't get uh, better weather than this. Yeah. You know, good people, good coaches. So, been getting after it uh, and they're in these OTAs, so we're excited. You played with some talented guys at Georgia, of course. Maybe none like Justin Herbert. I mean, how excited are you to catch passes from 10? Oh, yeah, you can make any and every throw. Uh, if you watch him, you know, just a little bit, you, re you realize that pretty quick. So, you know, super excited to continue to build that chemistry and that connection with him and get rolling. I said underrated for a reason because watching, you know, the draft process go and a lot yeah. of guys were saying, you know, these corners were fantastic in the SEC, but struggled against Lab McConkey, struggled against Lab McConkey. Seems like every single time there was a talented corner, you found a way to get the job done against them. I mean, coming into the NFL now, obviously the level is going to be different, but yeah. how do you see your expectations for yourself in season one? Yeah, I just want to go out there and contribute. You know, I'm not a guy that like puts the numbers on myself, like, oh, I want this, I want that. Uh, I feel like you just go out and play and that'll it'll take care of itself. So at the end of the day, you know, obviously I'd, I'd love to catch, you know, this many touchdowns and that many yards, but uh, just go out there, do my thing, and, you know, the rest will take care of itself. What's it like having Jim Harbaugh as your head coach now and, and just kind of getting in the room around him and, yeah. and the field around him? How's that been? Yeah, no, he's been, he's been good. He keeps the energy high. Um, you know, always has some wise words to say. So, no, but it's uh, it's been solid. It really has. Everybody's welcomed welcomed me with open arms, and you know, I've been a good OTAs and rolling into this mini camp. So, good. And it seems like you have just a a laid back mentality, man. You know, you're just gonna go in, get your job done, and, and you're gonna do it well. I mean, where did that mentality come from, and and how hard is that, or easy is it for you to just every day come out here and have that mentality? Yeah. I, I don't know if it's laid back. It's like you yeah. know, like I'm I'm intense. I'm yeah. I'm. I'm gonna get the job done, uh, but kind of have try to have an even kill. You know, don't get too high, don't get too low. Uh, it kind of just came from, you know, my family back home. I feel like I've been playing this game for a long time, and so have other people. So, and I think any good player will probably tell you the same thing: can't get too high, can't get too low. So, stay even killed. But I don't know about laid back. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, getting to the NFL has been a dream of yours, and you know, a dream of anyone that's ever played football. Now that you're here, and that moment has finally come, how excited are you trying to get out there and prove to yourself and everybody yeah. else that you can play at this level? Yeah, I mean, not many people get this opportunity, uh, so I just want to go make the most of it. Uh, worked so hard to get here, so like, why would I stop now? It's kind of the mindset I'm having. So, just getting started, and let's uh, start this new chapter off right. Last question I have for you, is there anybody in the receiver room who's kind of taken you under their wing a little bit and said, hey, this is kind of how we're going to do things, or, or how's that been? You know, yeah, we, we have some, you know, our, our receiver room's pretty young. Mm -hmm. We have a couple older guys with DJ coming in and Josh, yep. but, you know, just kind of sit back and see how those guys work, what they're doing in the meetings, how they're doing their recovery, their warm-up. Um, like, I have started doing a warm-up before practice with Josh, just like trying to get in a routine and see what works for them, and if it works for me, then continue to do it. So just sit back and watch them and observe because, you know, there's not many people that do this for a long time, and, and they've been able to you know, do that. So I asked Joe Alt the same thing, but you, you, at one point you'll have your welcome to the NFL yeah. moment. Yeah. You haven't been on the field to have it yet, but has anything surprised you yet, or have you had that moment outside of, of the field? Uh, I don't know. It's like uh, Khalil Mack got up and like said something in front of the team, and he was like saying it was his like, 11th year. And to me, it was like, dang, like <laughs> I'm 22 years old, and we're on the same team, so like, that's a moment. It's like okay, like this is there's there's levels to this, but uh, but no, it's it's been good. So I'm sure it'll come. But that was a pretty pretty cool moment, I guess. Well, we're awesome. Excited to watch you play, man. And thank you for the time. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Much. Much. Good Good luck, man. Man. Appreciate you.